Hi everybody. I I know I'm gonna seem jokey a bit because I don't normally make more serious videos, but I feel like I'm someone who over time has developed really good people skills. You know, I, I've struggled with mental health and stuff. I've spoke about that in the past on my channel. When I opened up about that, it made me feel so much better. Like I, I can tell I'm like putting a face on right now and stuff, but like I thought this would be gen genuinely helpful for like for me, like myself when I was younger. Because I think when it was like in secondary school, maybe a bit before and after that, before I like got into sixth form, I really was nervous like talking to girls or like guys, people I had crushes on. I found it really hard. Like there was a lot of people like when I was younger that I, I could have like said that like, oh, they look great. You know, I, I didn't even have to ask them out. I could have just said something nice about them that I wish I could have said and I never got around to it. So I thought I'd make like a little video about now. Like I silly, but like how I got a lot better at that because now I think like when I've liked someone I've just been able to be upfront with them and tell them whether that's like on an app or like maybe I'm at a bar and like I can literally just like speak to someone a little bit and like kind of like test the waters and see if they'd like me you know and that you know that that's just a really good skill to like develop and have so the main big thing for me is imagine you're just so let's say you're at a bar you go up and you talk to someone like they're a stranger, you know? You don't, like, as in, you're trying to make a friend. You don't look it into it like a relationship thing. Because if you think about it, if someone's at a bar and they've got, like, let's say they're wearing, like, let's say they like Spider-Man, they're wearing a Spider-Man shirt, and you just saw the new Spider-Man movie, so you go up to them and you say, like, oh, did you see the new Spider-Man movie? That's so great. Like, immediately, if someone says that to you, and I'm wearing my Spider-Man shirt, you're going to know that's going to go down super well. Like, how harmless is that? Or it's like, oh, I like your shirt, man. So just take that and, like, maybe, let's say, like, I'm, I'm bi, so I like, I like girls and guys, you know. But if someone might be, let's say, you're straight and maybe you really like someone's hair or, like, how they've done their eyeliner. Like, if you say to someone, like, oh, your eyeliner is really cool. Like, even if it doesn't seem like they're trying to go, that's such a nice thing to hear. Like, if someone said, like, to me, like, oh, your hair looks really nice or like, oh, you've got such a good beard, or like that, oh, that jumper's great, something like that. That's gonna make me feel, thanks, 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 man. Like, you've got to imagine someone, like, is coming up to you as a friend, like, what do you think another dude would say to you if you're a guy, or if you're a girl? Well, another guy's like, oh, that, that dress is lovely, those shoes are really nice. That's such a lovely thing to say. And like, yeah, of course, that opens up the conversation. Oh, thank you, and then you might say, th say something back to you, and you just keep going from there. Like, say, oh, your hat's great. That's lovely, you know? And then once you got that back and forth going, you just settle in and it's like you've made a new friend and you kind of go from there. Because what is a relationship other than like a friend you make who you're more close to, like closer than just any of your other friends? It's like a very, very close, intimate friendship. But that's like some light stuff. If we're getting a bit more serious and in the mindset of it, uh, you want that other person to feel safe and secure. So what I like to do is I like to carry uh, either like some kind of legal blade on me. I, I don't want to, I mean like maybe a, perhaps a firearm. It's not particularly legal here, but maybe like uh, some kind of explosive device, an IUD if you will, you can look those up, an improvised explosive device. Because if you meet someone and you want them to have your back, do you want to know that they can like really protect you from like oncoming war. People like it when you're, you just come in with a, perhaps a rifle or a firearm into the location. Like, oh, the rules around here, not allowed to have that. P hear me out. Who am I gonna go up to? A double blasting cowboy who's cool as hell or some little dweeb with skinny arms? No, thank you. I wanna, I wanna freaking blast off. I wanna get my, <laughs> I wanna get my pussy blasted, okay? So that just don't work. What really puts someone at peace? So like, um, you want to show as well some of your like, maybe a little bit of, forgive me for being a bit forward here, but some of your sexual prowess. Women like to be scared and they like to be afraid. Women like to be scared and they like to be afraid, you know? Just like, maybe you go up to them, you like hand on the shoulder, move that to a hand around the back of the neck. Firm grip, like a vice. And if they're pulling away, they're being like, ha ha. 
I'm going to talk to my friends. That haha means they like it. You have to squeeze harder until like their face is going a little bit blue. If they go purple, then you release a bit. But you need them to go a little bit blue, you know? If they they got to be like turning a hue like a, a, a Disney Pixar character, man. You got to really like get something moving. You got to be for because at the end of the day, people are like an honest man who says what they want, and nothing says I want what I want rather than I have a gun, and there's nothing I won't do to blast. That's what women like, and that's why Americans have so many kids. That's all they got, really. I don't. There's no. Okay. Sorry.